What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Wednesday. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are doing the show, okay? I am your host, Dragon Blaker, and you can call me Blake, and this is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I hope everybody's last 24 hours has been most excellent since we last got to visit with each other. Yesterday, we smashed through the carousel in like an hour, and then we hung out with everybody, uh, and we were talking about what was being bought, and we ended up talking about these little solar-powered lights, uh, and I ended up getting a set as well, so I'm super excited to receive them and share them with you when they come in. Now, other than that, uh, we're just getting like right into products nowadays, so let's jump into it, but before we do, all right, I just want you to know that... Um, Thank you for coming and joining me on this live stream. Uh, if you have anything to say, please feel free to get engaged in the chat. Let's take a look through the carousel. If there's anything there that you'd like to see, we can talk about it. We don't have to go in order. If there is something else on Amazon that you uh, want to talk about, let me know. We'll look at the link together and uh, yeah, we can talk about whatever we like. Now, we do have some new metrics here that we are trying to encourage on Clown Live. So you might hear me asking you to click through the carousel on some certain products. And, uh, you know, feel free to click through the carousel on all of the products because all of the clicks count for our reach here on Amazon Live, baby. All right. Now, let's jump right into today's products. And before we do that, one more quick thing. Let's bring in our product camera. Shaboom. All right. Now let's start talking products today. We are going to begin today by talking about this. All right. Now this is the Comalgo, uh, which is the nicest side. Um, I like this one because it has the projector. Uh, this is the Comalgo 1080p LED projector. Now this 9,500 lumen projector is advertised to be brighter than like 90% of the projectors that are LED on the market today. And it's available at an extremely reasonable, budget-friendly $51, all right, today. Now, when we open the box, <laughs> excuse me, we do get the projector, all right? And the projector is pretty kind of standard-looking projector, if I say so myself. And, uh, yeah, but what you have is uh, manual focus and manual keystone abilities, and then lots of different inputs on the Comalgo, uh, including uh, an audio out. Uh, audio video in with an included cable for that three and a half millimeter connection. You also get two USBs and an SD card reader, as well as an HDMI and a VGA port. The Comalgo features an infrared receiver on the front and the back, so it doesn't matter where you're standing. The remote control that is included in the box with the power cable is designed to work from either direction. Uh, it has all the controls that you need built into it on the top as well. Okay, sorry, my uh, camera's a little washed out, but you do have controls on the top here. And you can mount this to a tripod. Uh, it doesn't have an operating system, but it has a fan that turns on the moment that you kick on the power to the Comalgo. And something else that's really important about the Comalgo and the way that it operates is, yes, it does support a 1080p signal, but it is broadcast and downsampled to a 720p resolution. And that is what you're getting broadcast out of the Comalgo. All right. So it is available today for $51. All right. Oh, let's put this piece back on here. Uh, I used this one. It looked really, really good. I plugged my laptop into it. It looked pretty good. And I have a USB stick that has some movies on it that uh, are like brightly colored. They looked uh, okay, like really good. Oh, what is up, USS Rover? Thank you for joining the stream today. It's great to see you here. We just wrapped up talking about Comalgo. You know, the projectors, man. I really love the projectors when we get to talk about them. Uh Today, we're only talking about the Comalgo, but uh, there are other projectors that I'm definitely trying to get my hands on. All right, now let's keep it moving, though, and talk about the next products in the carousel. And these are going to be the KB Ear Storm and also the KB Ear Rose Finch. But to kick it off, we're going to be talking Storm. You leaving, Boot? All right, have a good time. I'll see you when you come home. Okay, so these are the KB Ear Storms. All right, here is the box for that. And let's get these open here. It's kind of a time-consuming thing opening these boxes. 
Oh, there we go. Everything's spelled out. Okay, most excellent. All right, now, oh, these are the Rose Finch and not the Storm. All right, sorry. These are a little mixed up in their packages today. This is the Storm box, so let's get the KB Ear Storms out of their box. Okay, Rose Finch, Storm, boom. All right, now, these are the KB Ear Storms. Really, really nice earbuds that are see-through black. They also come in a blue-purple design, which is really nice. I like that you can see the driver in the earbud and that the... Uh, that the uh, it comes with several different silicone ear tips, so you can get the right size that fits you best. Now, the twisted audio cable is wrapped in a piece of plastic that makes it super easy to put these in your ear and then put them behind your ear. Do you see? You put it right behind your ear, and that really excels at holding them in place. Now, these are the black cable that have a three and a half millimeter. Um, headphone jack on them, but you can also get these with the brown cable, which we'll take a look at in a moment, which also featured the three and a half millimeter cable. But unlike the black cable, the brown cable has the ability to take calls. It has a microphone in line with an answer uh, button also in line. So we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. But the KB Ear Storms, they are available today for $19. Okay. They're really, really nice, and I like that they're super light. And KB Ear, they make a lot of nice, super budget-friendly headphones. They're constantly making new models that look really phenomenal and sound equally as good. The Storms, they don't have too much of a low pass, but that's great because it doesn't wash out any high end uh, and really gives you a balanced listening experience. Okay, now let's go move on from the storms momentarily here. Well, permanently for the rest of today's show. And let's talk about now the KB Ear Rose Finch. Now, the Rose Finch is pretty similar, I'd say, uh, in, in the sense that they are really wonderful in-ear monitors that are designed by KB Ear. But they are different in the sense that, uh, well, the... Storms have 32 ohm impedance. These have 16, 16 ohms on the Rose Finch. 16 ohm impedance on the Rose Finch and really offer you an excellent, excellent bass experience. So if you enjoy the low pass in your music, you're really going to enjoy these Rose Finch ear in ear monitors by KB ear. Now what set these apart from other in-ear monitors are this uh, zinc air uh, aviation grade zinc aircraft uh, zinc alloy material uh, and it's really nice it's metal and it and it reflects the light uh, kind of gives a little bit of a cute glint I'd say and it has like a black kind of like cross stitch pattern in the bottom. Uh, and these are the same thing. These are the same thing uh, in, where you can put them in your ear and then they wrap behind with the way that the twisted plastic is wrapped in another layer of plastic. Now, included with the storms, the same as the rose finches, the cable does connect to the IEM with a little two-pin plug. So it makes it easy to remove the, it, the ear bud, excuse me. It makes it easy to remove the earbud from the cable if you have cable issues or if you want to switch the cables out. Now, these are not wireless IEMs, okay? You definitely require, oh, let's highlight the Rose Finch. You definitely require the cable included. Now, like I said, the brown cable does have that microphone connection uh, and uh, and the ability to take calls, but it does not have um, it does not have volume adjustment uh, ability in that cable. All right, the Rose Finch is available today for eighteen dollars. I really love these things. Uh, these are going to be the Rose Finch are going to be my go to when I'm riding the scoot and I want some good music in my headphone on a long ride. <clears throat> okay, now let's talk about the Logitech Lytra Glow. The Logitech Lytra Glow is available today for $60. And what I love about this is how it is a small diffused white light that offers a few prominent light settings, such as a bright cool blue light and a very soft warm yellow light uh now breaking down the lights on this 
Lytra Glow by Logitech. It features five different light settings from that bright blue down to that warm yellow. And each of those five light settings offer uh, five different brightness intensities as well. So you're essentially getting 25 different lights built into this nice little unit that is powered via USB-C, okay, on the back. This is not battery operated. And it comes with um, a, a monitor mount that is extendable at the top. So if you need to grab onto a, a wider monitor for whatever reason, uh, you can do that with the Lytra Glow. Once you do have it in place, it's easy to extend the monitor. Uh, excuse me, it's ext excuse me again. It is easy to extend the Logitech Lytra Glow once it is set on the monitor. It also features some cable management in the back, so it's easy to keep your cable clean. The cable that is included with the Lytra Glow is USB-C to USB, all right? Uh, that comes in the kit very, very easily accessible in the box when you open it. And uh, yeah, what I love about that is usually I take it off. Of, oh, we don't got the thing showing. Uh, what I love about it is usually I take the light off of the mount to show that you can put it on a tripod, but uh, screwing it on is just as good of an example. So I really, really like that. Oh, hey, what's up, Evans? What's up, Stargazer? Yo, it's so nice to see you all out here today. Uh, not once did my viewer ticker move. The app still says that we've got no viewers watching. So it's so nice to catch you out here while the app is pulling the wool over my eyes. I hope that y'all are doing great. We are just in product mode. It's Wednesday. We're getting close to the end of the week. We might only do one show on Thursday. We might come back and do another show on Friday. I'm not hundred percent certain yet, but something's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, so it is kind of like, even though it's Wednesday, it's midweek, it is kind of drawing near to the end of the week, which is very, very nice. Uh, even though I love coming on to Amazon live and making streams, uh, when you do something all the time, it's always nice to take a little break from it. So I don't know, I, I could stream for all day, every day. Uh, I, I wondered if, I wonder like what type of like marathon streams would exist. Like imagine if we did like a subathon on imagine if we did a subathon on uh on amazon live where we just go live and then like every new sub is like an extra i don't know five minutes that we stay live a new follower that would be a really interesting thing and we just stay live until the timer runs out maybe start with like uh i don't know like a i don't know four hour timer or something uh stargazer says i'm leaving work in 15 minutes but i'll catch you and uh Unless maybe I should get a car wash. Get a car wash. Chill to the soft, rumbling vibes of the sound of my voice uh, passing through your car speakers while that brush is just going whoosh across the top. I love that. You know what else I love? I love how they use the tricolor soap. Uh, I don't know if they got three-color soap where you're at, but they use, like, the blue and the pink and the yellow, and it's, like, super fresh. One of my favorite things is getting in the automatic car wash. All right, now Lytra Glow is pretty great and it's available today for 60 bucks. If you're looking for a key light that you can use on your monitor at home or detach from its stand and, and put like in a more versatile scenario, such as connecting it to a camera, for example, Logitech Lytra Glow, got you covered. All right, now let's talk about these pluggable products that we got on hand. We're gonna talk about these three boys probably right in a row. Let's bring them all up to the front for class all right here we go uh the first thing that we're going to talk about is going to be this pluggable usb to uh usb 3 to dual hdmi adapter that's what this is here it's very cute it's, it fits in the palm of my hand and features a usb 3.0 or usb c adapter connection all right to that dual HDMI out and do HDMI out port one on this device uh, supports 4K resolution at 30 hertz. And then also the HDMI port two supports 1080p at 60 hertz. So I like that you can use this for like dual 1080p at 60 hertz if you wanted. A really simple little device to extend the real estate of your monitors on your battle station or your workstation, whether you're uh, using it for your laptop or your PC. I really like that they make things like real small like this that are easy to get that like simple expansion. The pluggable USB 3.0 or USB-C to dual HDMI adapter is available today 
for $59. And this is 26% off of its $80 average retail value. Okay, now let's talk about pluggable Bluetooth adapter. The pluggable Bluetooth adapter is a 5.0 Bluetooth standard, okay? And uh, <clears throat> pardon me. The pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter supports Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. And when used with Bluetooth 5 devices, the range of the adapter can reach up to 40 meters indoors compared to the 10 meter range of previous Bluetooth standards. This is USB 2.0 compliant and uh, compatible with Windows platforms. And it's again, supports a Bluetooth um, uh, 5.0, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, with this device here. Now, this is a really simple device that you can own today for $13. If you have something that doesn't have Bluetooth on it, or if you uh, are looking for like a, a faster standard, perhaps, then the pluggable Bluetooth 5.0 adapter might be the right option for you. Okay, now let's click through our carousel and talk about our next product here. And this is going to be the pluggable USB 3.0 to dual monitor docking station. I've got this docking station. It's right here beside me. It just sits kind of behind the laptop here. It's just like back here. There we go. Oh, uh, 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 you know what? If I was like showing the wide shot, you'd be able to see it. All right, but I do have it. It is a mainstay in my workstation uh it is uh an integral part of my workstation i might argue because it supports all of these great features that run into my laptop over one usb 3.0 connection and what are those inputs well looking at the box we can see on the back of the device there are four usb 2.0 ports an ethernet port a dvi out an hdmi out as well as the ability to plug it into your computer a display link port and it has that ac adapter port as well this comes with like little dvi port adapters so you can get dvi to hdmi or dvi to vga if you need and pardon me i really love that this allows me just essentially like a one cable solution to all of these connected peripherals right now on the front of the pluggable docking station here that we're talking about it does have two usb 3.0 ports as well as a, um, a single function headphone jack and a microphone jack as well so two individual jacks not a multi-function one maximilian docking is great docking is really really great uh, it feels good when you do the docking because you know that um, you're not you're not doing all of the work. You're not doing all of the work when you're doing the docking. There's definitely like uh, there's like a like a sharing of power between the two devices. And and sometimes when you're doing the docking, it's doing a, a lot more work than you even expected. Sometimes. You can just be plugged in and the dock is doing all the work and you're just reaping all the benefits, right? And I think that the docking situation with the pluggable um, dual monitor docking station here that we're speaking about, it's kind of a pretty, it's, it's not even balanced. I would say that the docking station does a lot of work, right? Because over one USB 3.0 port, you are connecting, like I said, four USB 2.0 devices. So whether those are wireless mouse or wireless keyboard or corded keyboard or, or Bluetooth peripheral or anything, you know what I mean? Headphones, anything, right? That is uh, a webcam. Also, you can plug your internet into it and you can have two monitors plugged into it at the same time. And you can have all of those things that are connected to that dock plugged into your, for me, my laptop with one cable. So when it's time for me to leave, I just unplug one thing and my whole thing shuts down around me and, and it's just good to go. It's good to go. Um, I really enjoy the pluggable dual monitor docking station. Now, if you click through the carousel today, you can see that there are other pluggable devices that do similar things, uh, but they might be like all display ports or HDMI ports as well. So if DVI, if a single DVI and a single HDMI out isn't necessarily your bag, 
Again, I do encourage you, click through the carousel, navigate to the Pluggable store, check out the other docking stations they have. If you love docking, you're going to love Pluggable. All right, now this docking station is available today for $119, and this is on sale, all right? It's 28% off of its regular $165 average retail value. Now, let's drink a little bit of water, and then we're going to talk about the next product here, which is going to be the Ofuzi. And the Ofuzi is the H8 Apex, right? Yes. Okay. I love the Ofuzi H8 Apex. <clears throat> because it is powerful. It's easy to use. It's ultra lightweight. And I've got it right here. The Ofuzi H8 Apex is a handheld cordless vacuum that charges via USB-C. Comes in this nice little branded cinch sack. And uh, when we pull it out, uh, we can see that uh, other than accessories remaining in the bag, here's the Ofuzi. This is the Ofuzi H8 Apex. It features a 120 milliliter dustbin that has a replaceable, rewashable, and reusable filter okay it's easy to remove the dirt from the dustbin by unlocking it and pressing the button you can dump out the dirt very easy if you want to wash the filter we just turn it and pull it off of the vacuum itself where we can then remove our filter for easy cleaning or replacement it's easy to drop back in and lock into place it charges via usb-c connection and it has a low mode and a high mode and I think you get like up to 12 minutes of cleaning with the high mode on this. I think that's what it is. All right. So this is Ofuzi. Now, real quick with the Ofuzi, it does come with a few simple accessories. And uh, we can pour over those super fast. Now, the Ofuzi H8 Apex is available today for 80 bucks, And that's 20% off of its $100 average retail value. And if you buy one of these, the accessories that you get are going to be the crevice tool. And the crevice tool has the brush tool as well. And you don't require the crevice tool to attach the brush tool to the H8 Apex. Now, you also get the little rubber nubbed um, head on this vacuum piece, uh, on this vacuum accessory, excuse me. And uh, I think this one is for like getting hair and stuff like out of furniture or maybe your shirt or something. It's good at gripping hair. But you can also slide this off and it has little soft boys on it so that you can drag it across your desk and not make any scratches or noises. Okay. Uh, it also has a little brush so to help you clean your filter. All right. For $80 today, not too bad of a get. Um, I don't know if there's another coupon on this or not, but it's everything I want to say. Oh, it does also come with a USB cable to charge your Ofuzi. All right. Everything pretty much comes with a little USB cable nowadays. Nowadays, I feel like I'm aging myself. Okay, let's talk about the next product in the carousel, and this is going to be the Wise Smart Scale. <clears throat> now, Max, if you're still here, I think we talked about the Smart Scale together previously. The Wise Smart Scale is what I'm holding here. All right, it has a really easy to read display on the top, and it's a very, very thin scale. Today, it's available for basically $37, and I love this scale because it gives you the ability to monitor specific biometrics, such as your weight, obviously, also your heart rate, and tells you what your body mass index is. When you connect the WISE Smart Scale to the WISE app, uh, which is free download in iOS and Google Store, um, you can unlock the trending-like feature of the of of the app you know what i'm saying so when you stand on the scale every day if that's what you do the app will like show you like a little graph with a line that goes up and down like a little snake graph that will show you if you're losing or gaining weight and uh, there's a few other features in the app i'll be uh, admitting to you that i have not been the most robust detailed feature hunter okay on the wise app but it is a really cool app that you can use in conjunction with the scale you don't even need the app to use the scale if you want to use it as a traditional scale you just stand on it it tells you your weight yo what's up sea bass 
How you doing, man? I hope that you're doing great, actually. Uh, thank you for joining me here on Clown Live. You know what it is. It's Wednesday. You know, we're talking about body scales. And uh, this one has an app that when you stand on it, it'll tell you about like um, different trends in your body weight and help you with your weight loss journey if that's what you're trying to do. But you don't need the app to run the scale. But if you want those features, you can get them. Uh, and super affordable today at $37. I really like this. And one other thing I want you to know about the Wise Scale is that it has um, the ability to function with other popular health and fitness apps. Okay, what is the next thing that we're talking about here? The Yaki. Okay. Okay, up next is the Yaki IPL laser hair removal tool, and it is available today for $119. Now, what you get with this device is the ability to stunt hair growth on your body and eliminate it in places where you don't want it to be. The Yaki IPL laser hair removal tool has a laser that is built inside that, say, if I'm removing hair on my arm, when you shine the light into the surface of your skin, it is absorbed then by the hair follicle, which converts the light energy into heat energy, which then disables the hair follicle. And that is what will make the hairs fall out and stop growing with, uh, with moderate use. Now, you can see results as early as one to two weeks, but it is kind of like, I guess, an eight-week uh, suggested kind of regimen where you're using it three times a week for the first couple weeks and then two times and then you taper off one time and then eventually like once every two weeks or once a month as needed. Um, yeah, the Yaki IPL laser hair removal tool. Now it has this information that is important to note, okay? Not only the price, which is $119 today, making it 21% off of its $150 average retail value, but um, also... The IPL laser hair removal tool doesn't work very well if you have very dark skin. So if you have a lot of melanin in your skin, then this device might not work for you. And I guess as one might say on the opposite side of the spectrum, it doesn't work very good with like red hair or blonde hair as well. So make sure that if you're interested in this device, you click through the carousel today to understand if it is the right device for your specific skin type. Perfect. All right. Now let's talk about a product that I love so, so much. And that is the EF EcoFlow Camping Light. I am obsessed with this light. It's my favorite light. I've got it in the box right here. And uh, you know what? We just threw it in the box right before the show for demonstration purposes of opening the box. Okay? Because it's always out of the box. I love this thing. All right, now this is the EF EcoFlow Camping Light available today for $69. I love this camping light because it's super easy to use and it has the ability to be charged it through its input, which is a USB-C cable, but it also has a, a USB-C port, excuse me, but it also has the ability to charge out via USB-A and that is the output port here, right? So here's our output port and when we turn it 180 degrees, we can see that we have the input port USB-C as well. All right, so I love this thing because that emergency output has saved me in a power outage where all my other devices were kaput. This thing charged my phone for me and still worked when it got dark. Uh, okay, now the EF EcoFlow camping light has neodymium magnets that allow it to adhere to a metal surface and it features these little hooks, okay? So you can put the hook you can put the hook through the loop, but you can make two hooks into a loop and put it on a hook very solidly if you want to. The EF EcoFlow Camping Light features a simple one button design, and I'm going to explain that to you right after I take a sip of water. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. The EF EcoFlow Camping Light truly is an awesome device. It features five different light settings. When you press the power button the first time, okay, it turns on the blue lights. 
and the blue lights indicate how much battery power is currently in the light and also activates the output. So if you plug something into this, you do have to turn it on once in order to start charging it. Once you press the power light button, one, once you press the power button once, you can press it a second time and it will turn on to its brightest white light. And with its brightest white light and the other light features that will light ring light features that we'll get into, they all feature stepless dimming. So we can press and hold the power button and the light does dim down and it doesn't like that, 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 that. It's a really, really smooth stepless dimming feature. Um, okay, so we can brighten it back up. And we can press the button again. Now, when you are in a current selected mode for more than 25 seconds, the camping light will remain in that mode. And if you press the power button again, it will turn the light off. If you're in a setting for less than 25 seconds and press the power button, then it will cycle to the next light Uh option. Okay. So we turn it on. We turn it on again. It has the bright light. We turn it on a second time. There's a really nice warm yellow light. And then a third time we have a really soft white light. Now I do personally kind of have a problem to differentiate the difference between the soft white light and the bright white light other than their softness and brightness. They both pretty much just seem white to me. We can press the button a fourth time and we can really activate a super bright, uh, uh, flashlight. Okay. And when we press the light a final time, it does cycle through an SOS signal that is helpful in emergency situations where applicable. Okay. Now we can press the button again. That's going to turn the camping light off for $69. The light is pretty great. It charges your phone. It has a bunch of different light options. It's magnetic. It's IP65 water resistant. So you can get this a little bit damp, uh, but I wouldn't recommend submerging it. Okay. It features a 7,200 milliamp hour battery. And yeah, this is just a really, really great offering from EcoFlow. I would argue, one might argue that this is the smallest battery that they offer to charge devices. After this, I think it goes like to the river or the river too. Okay, $69 today for the camping light. I love it a whole bunch. And I think if you're looking for a high quality light, uh, the EcoFlow has got you covered with this camping light. All right, now let's keep it moving here. And we're going to talk about the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Let me put this stereo here on the table momentarily and grab the box for it. Boom. All right. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is a really excellent 80 watt Bluetooth speaker that can be yours today for $180. It features two 30 watt titanium drivers that are silk domed and two 10 watt tweeters. Also, on each side of the speaker, you have these passive bass radiating speakers. I brought this outside today. It was so light. I wore it. I walked around the yard with it blasting some of my favorite music. We were looking at some of the spring flowers that were growing in the yard, and uh, I was just having a lovely, lovely day. <coughs> Man, my voice is breaking up. I need to do more singing before the show. Also, I've been going super hard on the products today. It's been really quiet in the chat, so... Uh, oh, we got one click-through. Who clicked through what? Oh, oh, somebody clicked through on the camping light? Yo, okay. If you're still here and you want to know anything else about the camping light, let me know. I'd love to talk to you since you clicked through the carousel about it, okay? So if you can hear the sound of my voice and you did, in fact, click through and you want to talk about camping light, we'll jump right back to it. Let me know. I would love to talk to you about it. It is probably one of my favorite products uh, on hand in today's carousel. But the Motion Boom Plus by Soundcore, okay? The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus by Anchor is a really high quality uh, Bluetooth speaker that is IP67 water resistant and buoyant. So if you have this poolside or at the beach and it gets into the water, it's not gonna sink or get damaged. I love that. It has a nice strap on it that has Soundcore Insignia branded into it. And I just love how light this is on the strap, okay? The hooks, which are not carabiners, but the hooks, they hook into the loops, which are solidly affixed to 
the Motion Boom Plus. So I have like no worry about the connection here uh, breaking or coming loose or anything like that. Uh, a really great speaker that has a little rubber gasket on the back of it. And when we open this, it shows the ability to charge the Motion Boom Plus via USB-C, charge out via USB-A, and has a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input jack uh, in case your Bluetooth device isn't functioning or you just simply don't have one. Uh, but keep in mind that when you open that gate, uh, that little rubber ga gasket, you do compromise your IP67 water resistance. A really, really great product. I watched some teardowns of that, uh, of this product on another, uh, on another social media platform. And I was really impressed with the build quality of this. Now you can connect this, uh, with PartyCast 2.0. You can toggle the base straight from the device, easy to pair via Bluetooth. And you can adjust the way that the Motion Boom Plus sounds with the equalizer that is built into the Soundcore app, downloadable for free. That's right. <clears throat> okay, now let's keep it moving. We are talking race cars next. Okay. This is the Prex Tex 2-in-1 Cartoon Police and Race Car Set. It is a uh, vacuum for car. Yeah, we got vacuum for car. Monica, Monica want vacuum for car. Hey, we can talk car vacuums. We got one. Let's jump back in our carousel a little bit. We've got one right here. It's called the Ofuzi H8 Apex. Let me grab it off the table, and we can go over it real quick again. And now, Monica, while I'm grabbing the Ofuzi, I would love to encourage you, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that follow button as the metrics help us indefinitely, right? And um, absolutely consider clicking through our carousel today to learn all about the H8 Apex cordless vacuum. But real quick, I'll go over this one with you. This Ofuzi, oops, let me just grab this little accessory. This is the Ofuzi H8 Apex, Monica, okay? And what this has is a 120 milliliter dust bin that's easy to open. You can press the button to open it. You just pull the blue piece, tab, the blue tab down to unlock it, uh, and then you can dump it out. But it's also easy to remove the 120 milliliter dust bin, okay? So that you can pull the filter. This actually looks clean. So you can pull the filter, right? And then you can remove the metal guard from the filter and you can use water to wash the filter, the metal guard and the filter itself. Make sure that the filter's dry before you start, you know, um, sucking water through it. I think that's important. But yeah, you can rewash this and reuse it and you also can replace it, okay? There is a little brush accessory that comes in the kit that allows you to clean the the uh, filter a little bit. Now it's really easy to take the dustbin and put it on the Ofuzi and lock it into place. It has two modes, um, excuse me, has two modes, high and low, okay? And you act, oh, thank you so much, Monica Kinnebrew for following us here on Amazon Live. Uh, I am Dragon Blaker, okay? You can call me Blake and I am the host of this show that you're watching now called Clown Live on the Shopping Dragons channel. Welcome to the Madhouse, okay? We are midweek. We are right in the thick of it talking products. I'm so glad that you had the ability to come in and ask about something that you're interested in. Now, if this small vacuum isn't exactly what you're looking for, let me know. Let me know, and uh, maybe we can find something else that is of interest to you. Now, what I do like about the Ofuzi is that it's very compact. It's very, very small. And uh, it's very powerful as well. You can charge the uh, Ofuzi with a USB-C cable that is included in the accessory cinch sack, okay? So you do get the branded cinch sack, kind of upside down there. You do get the branded cinch sack. And then in this cinch sack, you get pretty just like fairly standard accessories, all right? So what do we get? Well, we get the crevice tool I was holding up a moment ago. And then also you get the brush tool. Now the brush tool, not only does it plug into the H8 Apex, which looks better like this. 
Uh, not only does the brush tool plug directly into the vacuum, but also it does plug into the crevice tool if you want that as well. And that applies for the larger vacuum head that is included. It has these little rubber nubs on it that I think are good for pulling like fur or hair off of your furniture or clothing. And you can slide this off and it has these little like felt tips on it. And I think that's just good for like dragging across the hardwood of the desk and not scratching the desk up. Does it come with any attachments? You know what? I know there's a little bit of lag on the chat, but we just talked about all of the attachments that are included today with the Ofuzi H8 Apex. Now, if you um, are looking for different accessories, I do have a similar vacuum that I could show you. It's almost an identical vacuum, if I'm being quite honest, but it does have a different um, attachment to it. And that is by a company called Fantic. Yo, thank you so much. I'm going to assume politely that it was you, Monica, who clicked through the carousel to learn more about the Ofuzi H8 Apex. So yeah, I really, really love these little vacuums because they just make them so easy to port around. The portability of the Ofuzi is, is kind of like unmatched. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> I like that it's kind of like a new aged kind of design in the sense that it is a USB-C charged device. Now, I don't have, um, I don't have my hair down today, but uh, it does blow a lot of air around. I mean, it's not... My my thinner hair, my thinner hair, I must admit that my thinner, longer hair blows a lot better than my stiff beard hair. So don't let that be an accurate representation of the suction of the Ofuzi, all right? But uh, let me give you a few more facts about it, some facts that I don't commit to memory, okay? And that is that, ooh, it does come in a couple of different colors. So if you're still... If you're still here, Monica, listening to me, hey, what's up, Taylor? Thanks for popping out today. We are just talking to our new follower, Monica, about the Ofuzi H8 Apex. And uh, I was saying that I remember this device does come in a couple of different colors. Here I'm showing you the black version, I believe. Uh, I believe it's black and not gray, even though it's clearly gray to me. Uh, I would have to click through my own carousel to, to remind myself of the colors. But I believe that it is the Ofuzi H8 Apex that comes in a nice um, like peach color, a nice kind of like peach color. So let me grab some information about this product because I want uh, I want to, okay? I want to. I want to see, I want to remind myself the color um, options for the Ofuzi. Okay, so here it is here, the H8 Apex. And uh, yeah, so it comes in white. Uh, do they call it black? Oh, it is gray. So it comes in gray. This is what we're showing here today. And then also it comes in orange, which is almost like a, a peach color. And honestly, I'm pretty obsessed with it. Like a peach, not peach, maybe like a salmon color. Like a, like a, it's like not orange. It doesn't look orange to me. So Monica, if you're there and you're still looking at the product page, uh, like, look at this. It, the Ofuzi comes in orange. And now what I want you to know also is about the price. Okay. It is regularly $100, but the H8 Apex today is actually 20% off on sale for $80. And it also features a $20 applicable clickable coupon. So <clears throat> make sure that if you add this to your cart today, don't forget to save that additional $20 and get this bad boy for 60 bucks. I mean, that's 40% off. <clears throat> I really, really love the, uh, the orange color of the Ofuzi H8 Apex. Uh, use confetti for testing. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I could dump a bunch of glitter all over the house too, Rover. Uh, Jason, T Jason T. Shields says, hey, Mr. Blake, I'm listening to you in the background while I'm prepping dinner. Just wanted to say hey. Hey to you, Jason. I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me here on this Wednesday edition of Clown Live. All right. It is, uh, wow, it's already been 45 minutes. Excuse me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, what are you making for dinner? I know that you said you're cooking, so I don't want to interrupt you. But if you got a minute to pop back in and let us know what you got in your pot, I would love to know. 
uh, us, we got, uh, they had like roast on for like cheaper price than normal. So I got like a very, very small one. They had like, um, uh, uh, two pound roasts, I guess for like, they had, uh, they had like pound and a half roasts, I guess for like 10 bucks. And so, uh, I got like an $8 one. I got like a kind of a smaller one. And Mima actually just left to go get some carrots and maybe some other food to uh, put in a little slow cooker. So we're going to maybe have a slow cooked roast tonight. And I'm really excited for that. My favorite thing about the slow cooker is that you just get to put the food in it and not worry about it. It's like Ron Popeil. It's like Ron Popeil with the slow cooker. You set it and forget it. Okay, Monica Kinnebrew, thank you so much again for following me here on Clown Live. We are on the road to 3,000 followers, and today you're going to bring our running total up to 2,862, okay? I might update that during the live stream, but usually I do it at the beginning of new shows. So, Monica, if there's anything else that you'd like to know about, please feel free to ask. And, of course, that applies to everybody watching. Now Jason says, just hamburger patties and eggs. I'm on a carnivore diet. Uh, okay, that sounds delicious. Are you just like smashing them in the pan? Are you making them on a barbecue? Uh, we got some, <clears throat> pardon me, we got some um, gift cards for a big box, not a big box store, but like a big department, whatever, I don't know, a store close by. And we went there today. I got like a black basket that you put on your barbecue grill for vegetables and potatoes and stuff. I got that pretty stoked. Also, um, we got a new barbecue brush and Mima got a new frying pan. So we just got a little couple kitchen accessories that we didn't really want to wait for the delivery of Amazon. We just picked them up right down the road from the store. And that was really cool. Instant pot. Hamburger patties and eggs in an instant pot. And the instant pot is like the rice cooker, right? Is that um, is that correct? I never had the instant pot or the rice cooker in my entire life. So that sounds fascinating to me because the slow cooker is seems like slow cooker seems like the opposite of instant pot. So I'm very intrigued. Is the instant pot just a rice cooker? All right. Thank you, Monica, again, for clicking through our carousel. I also saw somebody checked out the Y Smart Scale. If you're in the chat and you'd like to know anything about that, let me know, and we can definitely talk about it again. But, oh, somebody looked at the camp at the camping light. I love that. I love the camping light. All right. Now, let's keep it moving here and talk about the next product, though, in our carousel. And we were just starting to talk about it before Monica came to visit us. And this is the Prex Tex, okay? two-in-one um, uh, police car and race car set. The police car and race car set is available today for $35. And, uh, okay, this box upside down. Okay. All right. The Prextex two-in-one cartoon police and race car set looks like this. It comes with the police car and the policeman, as well as the race car. Okay, we got these in frame, don't worry. We got the police car and the policeman, as well as the race car and the race car driver, okay, included. Now, also in the kit, oh, I guess the camera wasn't following me. Hello. Uh, also in the kit are the remote controls, and the remote controls operate two different frequencies so that you can operate both vehicles at the same time. These are toddler toys, so essentially they go straight and they turn right. They also have buttons that are included in the cars themselves that honk horns and make other car noises. The lights in the front also light up. Now, they also make sounds when you put the policeman and the race car driver in their respective cars. So a really, really fun toy that operates on batteries that are not included, not included. But uh, <clears throat> $34.99 today, and this is going to be 30% off of its $50 average retail value for these fun little race cars that your toddler definitely will enjoy. Uh, 
Okay, kind of got a little distracted there in my mind while I was being quiet. $35 for the Prex Tex remote control cars. Now let's talk about the next product in our carousel. And this is going to be the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, what I love about the Stream Deck is more like what I what don't I love about it. The Stream Deck XL by Elgato is available today for $250. And I love this thing because it has these 32 buttons that are all little individual screens that you can host all your little own animations on them or single uh, image pictures, whatever. You can set shortcuts to these to do things on your computer that might take like a couple of clicks. You can set it all up to do it at the push of a single button, whether it's something complex like opening up your entire streaming software and going live at the single push of one button, okay, to something like cut like pasting your email address into a text field to enter a giveaway the uh, stream deck uh, the elgato stream deck xl offers you all the buttons that you need to achieve those goals and more uh okay jason says it's amazing dude it's a rapid pressure cooker i can cook frozen hamburger patties in 20 minutes and hard boiled eggs in less than two minutes you can cook all kinds of stuff uh, pressure so just a pressure pot even if it's just just a pressure pot i've never used one of those either so really really cool actually let's wet in the old whistle here and then we'll talk a little more about the stream deck <clears throat> the elgato stream deck is great because uh it has infinity pages and infinity folders so you can really really get deep and intricate with this or you can make it really simple uh and fun to use whatever you want now not only can you use these to execute actions on your computer but you can also use some of these to monitor different things like cpu temperatures or gpu temperatures or ram speeds you can set up a widget so that you press it and it does a speed test and gives you back your upload download speed uh, you can monitor weather on these of course you can make it look like the matrix and all that the elgato stream deck truly does a lot of amazing things and it is kind of one of those devices that for me is difficult to talk about in great detail uh, without just getting lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? So in regard to Elgato Stream Deck, I see somebody click through the carousel just now on it and I really do love it. Now, one other feature that I love about the Stream Deck is that uh, it comes in a few different sizes, okay? And uh, we have the Stream Deck XL here. We have the Stream Deck XL here. So it has 32 buttons. Now they have the regular Stream Deck and that has, I think, 15 buttons on it. And then there's the small Stream Deck, which has six buttons on it. And so I've got to say, I generally am the one that wants the best deal um, at all times, but I also want the best thing at all times. So often I find myself to be the purveyor of the idea that it's better to have it and not need it than it is to need it and not have it. Uh, and I think that this kind of applies in the case of the Stream Deck XL. You've just got a few more buttons on the front page and i and i when i first got it i'm like i'm never gonna fill all these buttons now i got all these pages and folders and like um like different things set up for sound effects uh and and shortcuts to control the way that my streaming software functions so i never have to memorize all of these shortcuts anymore and the stream deck software it makes it really really easy to set up the buttons and uh, I really just love the Stream Deck. So if you're looking for something that can streamline the way that you work, a lot of people way that they work, especially in regard to streaming, okay? Um, Elgato Stream Deck XL, better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Get the XL. It's $250 today. Uh, but even if you get the regular one, I do believe that you will be satisfied. But I do not, I'm not a fan of the six button Elgato Stream Deck. I just want to say that. Okay, this has a USB-C connection on it that connects via USB to your computer. It comes with that included cable, and it has this nice magnetic uh, uh, thing that you can remove, and then you can lay the Stream Deck more flat on your desk if you want. Hey, 
Hey, Rover, I have the 32 key stream deck, says Jason, and I'm learning how to use it for future live streams on YouTube as an influencer. Learn what are the most important shortcuts that you use to control your stream. And then you can create simple single button shortcuts that when you press will do that. Like, for example, for me, I don't have my stream deck hooked up. I just have a keyboard here. But uh, like I can set this keyboard shortcut, which is shift one. So if I want to cut, if I want to cut just to me on this camera, then I can hit shift one. Oh, I got to make sure that I have my my, my page selected. Uh, so I can hit shift one and then it cuts to me. And then I can hit shift two and I can cut back to the product camera, right? Um, or whatever. I don't have any other available shortcuts to show because I can't stream anything like that. Um, or like uh, the ability to start and stop streams or mute your microphone. Like uh, my microphone, my microphone is control D. So I can hit control. Hit control D again, and it will unmute my microphone. And I have that option with my camera as well. You know, so control E on the camera and control E to turn the camera back on. Now, <clears throat> you don't have to memorize those at all. You can set that keyboard shortcut once and you can bind it to a button. You can bind that. You can bind the keyboard action shortcut to a hotkey button on the stream deck and then that it will do whatever you want right then you can start setting up like global hotkeys which are hotkeys that will like override every program right so maybe i'm like hitting shift one to switch to my main camera but say i'm like have my some other window selected i could set up like a global hotkey for example shift control one whatever i don't know and then uh and then that hot key that hot key will um oh i muted my mic i muted, I muted my, my mic, mic accidentally. accidentally uh and then that hot key will be like a global hot key and override everything and like you can you can really do a lot you can really nuance what your button presses do okay so i hope that that uh encourages you to keep learning streaming and using the stream deck to help you not have to remember everything and you can import any picture that you want or animated image uh you can have any words on it that you want it to say super super easy uh to customize all right jennifer lude says what up hi i'm i'm great that's what's up how are you doing jennifer lude i hope you're equally as great all right let's listen to c bass and see what he has to say this funny story was told, oh gosh, at a recent funeral I attended. A man died and his three sons stood by his coffin. They agreed that they all should do something special to remember and honor their father. So they all agreed to put $100 in the coffin to be buried with their father. The first placed a $100 bill in the coffin. The second also placed a $100 bill in the coffin. The third wrote a check for $300 and took out the two $100 bills. Okay, I really like that. That's quick math. That's the fluidity of money. That was really, really great. <laughs> I have an echo. Let me uh, believe you. Let me believe you. And hit mute here. And uh, there we go. There we go. I'm sure that fixed the problem completely. Uh, thank you for letting me know that I was echoing. I just wasn't looking at the chat. I just had the same microphone on both cameras. So absolutely the echo. Absolutely the echo. Thank you for letting me know because I said, oh, look, I muted my microphone. I unmuted the wrong mic. So I know we're good now. So thank you for the update. Now, let's keep it moving here on the show. It's six o'clock. We're moving. We're grooving. We're talking products. And the next product that I want to talk to you about is going to be the EMI 1080p webcam. Now, this is a really good 1080p webcam that is available today for $30. It's 21% off of its $39 average retail value. Let us not use a shortcut, but like a caveman, manually select this view. Here we are. We'll reset this view, though. And let's cut over to the eMeet camera now. There we go. We can adjust this up a little bit. 
All right, so this is the eMeet C960 webcam. It has this 1080p resolution and uh, features a dual microphone array. Now, we are not monitoring the show from that microphone. We're using our Yeti over here. Uh, but yeah, this is a really nice little mic, uh, excuse me, a nice little webcam. <laughs> it has a little grip on it that makes it easy to hold into place with a little bit of gravity on your monitor. And it also has a tripod mount on it. So if you want to mount it to a tripod, you can. It's a really, really simple camera with a USB 2.0 interface. <clears throat> and honestly, there's not really much else to say about it. Uh, we can see what it looks like on the box. It's just this nice little kind of like pill shaped design to squeeze in that 1080p um, uh, camera and the microphones. So a really simple device. This is a great one. Um, I've got a really, like, I've got a 720p webcam built into my laptop. And I had this 1080p eMeet webcam, the C960 here, that we're talking about now. And the C960 was just, like, sitting around not getting used so I thought, well, you know what? It's better than the 720p boy. I'm going to hook it up and see how it looks. It looks pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not too bad when I'm standing up and facing it. This is maybe like, I don't know, maybe a couple inches above my eye line. I guess this is not my eye line. <laughs> I touched my nose thinking it was my eye line. But even still, it's a little bit higher than me. It looks pretty good. And uh, it does have a little privacy cover that you manually install. Okay. it it. It's just a little plastic uh, hinged privacy cover. Device sleeping? Yes, because we're talking through the e -me. It's a pretty nice looking camera, right? I like this camera a lot because it's better than my laptop camera. Now, I've seen much smaller webcams that I might want to port around with my laptop. But the EMI is great. It's very lightweight. It is solid cord in the back and it comes out to a USB 2.0 port. And uh, that's it. That's all that what I want to say about it. So it is available today for $30. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's a solid option. Okay, now cut back to our OBSBOT software here. And that's it. That's it. We talked about all of our physical products today. Now we just got our, talked about all our physicals on hand products today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven products in an hour. I mean, we could do that. We'll just let the videos play the whole, the whole runtime. Okay, excellent. Let us do this. Let us remove our product camera. Thank you, product camera, for being a part of today's show. We'll have you leave the studio. Close this, go here, and then pop this down here. And let's open up these links for these videos that we're going to watch. All right. Uh, is this the right link? Uh, this is for the eMeet. No, we're not watching the eMeet C960 video, but we will click this as helpful. And then we want this. Oh, the 45 second video. Okay. Where's the other video? No, oh, not the 45 second video. Bear with me for just a quick moment here while we get today's videos queued up. All right, we're doing the 45 second video, I guess. Pause this, bring it over here. Look at Nate's face. Oh, my God. You guys got to see this. Let's present our screen now and share that with everybody. Sorry, I'm just kind of – it's getting a little bit warm in here. The weather's so nice. Let's do a quick weather check uh, while we watch Nate do the Rumblex board. Wrong thing, buddy. All right, let's watch this Nate video together. It already burns so bad. I'm not kidding you. 
This is so much worse than a normal squat. All right here, down my leg, it burns so bad. We're at 20 seconds. Please, look, help me. Help me. Help. I'm tough. I'm strong. Girls like me. Ugh. Ugh. It burns so much worse than a normal squat. I'm not kidding you. It is terrible. That is so bad. It burns so bad. Come on. I'm done. It's literally the craziest video. It's just Nate getting his thighs burning. <laughs> All right, the uh, the Rumblex Pro, the Rum, excuse me, the Life Pro Rumblex 4D board is available today for five hundred dollars. There's another link here that I want to watch, but I can't get it to open. Whatever. Okay. Let's talk about the next product, though, in our carousel, and this is going to be the Prolux CTX canister vacuum. Now, honestly, this is one of those things that seems pretty, pretty slick. Okay, now this is also one of those things that is not slick. So we click it, and then copy it, and then paste it. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. All right, let's watch this. CTX. So you guys can see right down there in that little basin, I filled that up with water. But what this does is this is going to filter out the dirt, debris, grime, pollen, dust through your carpet by using water that is going to be UV treated. This also has an air purifier filter. So there is definitely a lot going on here. I had to kind of learn everything. So let's just go over everything that this comes with. If you look over here on the left side, you're going to notice I have a bunch of attachments. You're going to have the main canister itself. You're going to have the water reservoir or water basin as well as a little base with wheels on it. And the little base has attachments on it that you're able to store the attachments on. Now you're also going to have a handheld shampooer right there. You are going to have a cleaning portion right here, which I haven't learned how to use yet, an extender hose, and then you are going to have the main portion of the vacuum itself. Now, Prolux really prides themselves on this vacuum head right here. You guys can see I have it hooked up with a little power cable to the main canister portion. This is extendable and collapsible. So this entire set is going to be something that is just very premium. And I can already tell just by the build quality of everything that this is going to do a phenomenal job. They actually challenge you to vacuum first with your original vacuum cleaner, your day-to-day -day vacuum cleaner that you use, and then go back over the same spot with the CTX and see how big of a difference this makes. So I'm super excited to get this test out. This is just a general unboxing. You guys can see it comes with a lot. They're gonna make sure that you're covered in all cleaning situations, no matter what they are. The CTX water filtration bagless vacuum. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you, Nate. Okay, uh, thank you, Nate, for telling us about the Prolux CTX canister vacuum. This one is available today for a thousand bucks. What's up, Thor, at your door? You're saying that it's a little brighter today. Uh, it feels like it's the same kind of brightness, maybe, but like uh, we do have the blinds open a little bit more and the door is open, but I don't really think it's letting in much additional light. So I don't know. I'm not sure how to, I don't, I don't know how to react to that situation. Okay, let's keep it moving here though on today's show. And I think it's going to probably be Nate that gives us a quick talking to about the EcoFlow Delta 2. All right. Now the Delta 2 is going to be another great battery power station. Let's have Nate talk to us about this. I like this video actually. Two. This is the newest lineup in the Delta line from EcoFlow. 
As always, EcoFlow brought their A game with Little Big Brother Delta 2. You guys can see that right here, taking a look at the back, it's going to seem very familiar to the original Delta with your two AC ports, but you're going to have four ungrounded AC ports. Staying with what works, you're going to have your standard plugins for power that also gives you the option to charge over solar or your car. Now, if you want to extend this to 2048 watt hours, you can do that with this extra battery port here on the side so you can add even more power to the already powerful Delta 2's capacity. You're going to have your two USB-A ports, your two USB 3.0A ports, and this time you're going to have two USB-C 100 watt outputs, which is crazy because everything's being powered by USB-C, so big shout out to them. Now, just like always, the display is going to look very familiar. Whenever you plug in something, it's going to reflect and register how much life you have remaining with the battery capacity based on what it is that you're charging. The Delta II is small but mighty. It has a ton of capacity at 1,024 watt hours. So you can take this with you on the go, road trips, camping, and keep all of your devices charged. So it really doesn't matter where you're at. If you're camping on road trips, the Delta II is going to keep you covered with a ton of battery life and very easy to use functions. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. I hope you guys found this helpful. As always, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys on the next one. That's two videos in a row that we watched where the auto generated closed captioning didn't get Nate's name. The first video we watched, he goes, I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger and it just said Dragon Blogger. It didn't even say his name. This time it said, I made, I'm M-A-D-E, I made with Dragon Blogger, which is just equally as hilarious to me. Thor says, last time I saw you, you were chilling on the couch with the light down. Uh, I don't remember saying that the light was burnt out, friend, but I do recall that stream, and I was just chilling on the couch. We were doing an all sit-down show, all B-roll video. I think it was last week that we were doing that, and we just had one of the studio lights on to uh, kind of brighten up the area. Today, both studio lights are on. You know what I'm saying? Look at um, Every time I, I stand against the desk, I rub my little belly right here, and then I can see it on the shirt, like a little rubbing spot. It's not like a dirt or anything. It's just, I, it's just like a rubbing spot. All right, let's keep it moving here. Oh, somebody clicked through the EF EcoFlow. Uh, okay, the EcoFlow Delta 2 is pretty great. I like that you have the ability to expand it with that uh, port that is on it. Uh, and with the EF EcoFlow batteries, they're amazing because you can charge them with solar panels. I really, really, I have a, I have a smaller um, EF EcoFlow battery here. I have the River 2 model, <clears throat> and it is only compatible with the 110 volt solar panel. And I really, really wish that uh, I had that solar panel because I would really love to feel confident that I had a complete off grid system. Well, my River 2 is excellent for being portable, a wonderful light portable power station. Uh, if I use all the power in one spot, if I use all the power, pardon me, I've got no way to recharge it out on the field, out in the field, right? But I love that I can charge it quickly at home. Now, I am talking about the smaller battery, the River 2. I'm not talking about the Delta here. But yeah, I do love that you can double the capacity on this. It's basically the same Delta II battery, but there just isn't all of the controls on the front of the battery. All right, the EF EcoFlow Delta II, it's available today for a thousand bucks. Now we're going to take a look at the Yosuda magnetic rowing machine. Give me a minute to open up this video here and, uh, and we're talking, we're going to talk about it. So let's do this actually. And then let's find our product, Yosuda. All right, here we go. Let's watch this video together now about this Yosuda magnetic rowing machine that is currently highlighted in the carousel. We're talking about this water rowing machine with Bluetooth. And the estimated weight of this We right here get the wonderful privilege of watching Demetrius a assemble this today. So let's check out this five minute right video here. together. And it also has Bluetooth, which you can connect, connect to your phone on there. And it also has a screen, which you can put up to like a tablet right here. You can put up to 10 inches with that. And on this one, it has a, it's a high quality 
polycarbonated tank, which is right here. It comes with a little tiny tube of water beads for the water to be purified and uh, you don't have to replace the water on that. I'm just joking, y'all. We don't have to watch Demetrius set this up. You can see right here, at two on this side, right here on this part, you can flip this up, this big part right here, the main part. You can flip that up and you add two on this side and two on the other side. And then the next step it wanted me to do would uh, it be adding this on there. So this right here will just slide on there. And then you add the bumpers right here, the bumpers, and it has like two bolts right here on each side, it takes an Allen key. And then to attach this railing right here, this whole railing, uh, it will be two bolts on this side, two bolts on that side, as you can see. Really easy setup on that part. And on this part right here, you have the mount. So the mount is for the display and for your tablet that you can hold those two out. And then you have to mount this piece right here. There was four bolts right here that was on this. You just unscrew this from this and then you add them back on there like just like that. Uh, in my opinion, I do love it. And All right, thank I you do highly recommend it. today about the Yosuda magnetic water rowing machine. It's pretty cool. I like that they give you the purifying balls so you don't have to be constantly changing out the water. It is available today for $370. Now, let's take a look at this monitor stuff. I've been I remember I was having some a little issue with the monitor stuff in the past. Let's see if we are still going to get that. So we want to talk about the Innocent 40 inch uh, 144 hertz monitor. So let's see what happens when we open this video. And then we. Okay, so it is in stock. Okay, so we can talk about it. All right, cool. All right, let's check out this James video together right here. And then we'll talk more about it in just a minute. Really cool. Now it is a 12,001 high ratio contrast, which is the coloration. Now the 21 to 9 is the actual, the dimension ratio, which is very, very cool. Really, really wide, guys. Now, this is actually an HDR. This is 500 nits brightness, which is just amazing. This does have AMD FreeSync. This is, a, you know, this monitor can actually do split screen. So if you use one of the two HDMI ports or the USB-C or the display port, you can divide this monitor in half. Now I have the Nintendo Switch hooked up just for, you know, showing face, you know, to show you guys this right now. Now the cool thing is I'm going to show you guys a couple things. On its base, guys, and I'm going to move some stuff around so we can show you guys this. You can swivel it in multiple directions, right? Not just that way, but you can swivel it and angle it that way, or you can raise and lower it. Now, I have it down low on purpose, and I haven't angled that yet for a reason. We do have the switch hooked up. We have some Mario hooked up, right? Which is cool. I'm just going to pop up, you know, and just click through to kind of show you guys some of this. Now, like I said, it does have two HDMI ports, one display port, and then you have multiple other pieces. Now, you could use a Visa mount to hang this on the wall, guys, but it will need to be 100 by 100 and support at least 30 pounds. So just remember that, guys. Now, I'm not sure why all this stuff is just showing me all this, right? Because probably I haven't played in a while. But we're trying to show you guys some colorations. That coloration is just amazing. Now, for such a big monitor, guys, you will need the space. Now, like I said, it does have a USB-C uh, style plug in there. It does have HDMI ports. It also has the display port, guys. And you also have one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but it does have speakers built in. Now, it is highly compatible with all your consoles, so don't worry. That's why I have the Switch hooked up for you today and showing you guys this, which is actually quite cool. And like, you know, like I said, it will take an HDMI 2.0 or the Type-C 90-watt port or the display port if you need. It is a 95% DCI P3 wide color gamut, so you have a multiple of colors. Now we are gonna, you know, kind of pop into this and we're just gonna, okay, now that I got it hooked up, guys, let's uh try and mess around here, right? 
we have this little controller here. Look at that. Oh, oh. Head off to another kingdom. So you guys see very bright, very beautiful, awesome color. So now I'm going to move the camera a little more so you guys can see this a little better. Now, like I said, man, it is large. Let's take this uh, little tube for comparison, right? This tube is actually not that short, but if you guys see the comparison, guys, it really is super, super long. Let's try and go over to a little kingdom. Pop off and see. And you guys can watch this, guys. This is just a beautifully done monitor. Now, I cannot wait to hook this monitor up. Guys, the Innocent, you know, this Innocent monitor is just beautiful. Now, it is a flat screen. So remember, guys, it's not curved. It is a flat screen. It does have 144 uh, refresh rate. And now it is a, mo a model number 40C1R. It is mountable with the, v the Visa 100 by 100. So remember that, guys. You will need a big mount. Very, very cool. Look at that coloration, guys. Just an awesome, awesome monitor. Now, thank you for checking out this, just this quick little showcase of this uh, monitor. We will be definitely doing more. Thanks for checking this out, and have a great day. Thank you, James, for talking to us about the Innocent 40-inch ultra-wide monitor. Uh, it is available today for $480, and this is 20% off of its $600 average retail value. So definitely save over $100 today when you add this to your cart. Now, let's take a look at these other products that we've got in the carousel. We just got a couple left, and then I thought maybe we could kick it a little bit and try to do kind of what we did yesterday and drum up a conversation about what it is that you are buying. What are you looking for on Amazon? Let me know. And uh, we're going to take a look first, though, at this one audio uh, headset review by James. He's already in the thick of it. Let's jump right into it. And it does come with the 6.35 6 millimeter jack or standard 3.5 millimeter jacks. Now you have multiple cables in this kit. Now, of course, I have the lid off. Once you take the lid off, this is what you are greeted with, with this beautiful, beautiful little part. Now, these are 50 millimeter drivers, guys. So remember that and they do work at 38 ohms or so. Now, like I said, they are a neodymium driver. Now, what's inside the box? You get some cabling. This is a standard 3.5 to 3.5 miller cable. You then get your 6.35 to 3.5 cabling if you need. This works either way, and I'll show you guys that. You then get your standard, like, cinch bag pleatherette, guys. Very cool that they give you this also. You then get the 3.5 to 3.5 with microphone. And we're going to test this cable out today, of course. So that is the one we're going to use. But then you get this beautiful Monitor 60 headphones, guys. They come like this, but they do move around in multiple directions. So you can actually swivel these and set them on the counter if you need. Very thick memory foam padding on the earmuffs. They are labeled left and right, and a very thick banding. The banding is nice and stretchable and bendable. Now, this is where it gets cool. You can do the 6.5 into this uh, left, left earmuff just like this, guys, if you want, right? But if it's the other way around, you can plug in the 3.5 into the opposite side of the right earmuff, and we're gonna grab this right here. And uh, it does go in one direction, plug it in, and then you can put the 6.5 into your actual studio equipment. That don't work. Grab the 3.5 to 3.5. We're gonna put the microphone near the top of the headset, just like this, and then we're gonna plug it in. Now guys, this is a nice set, and I love that they <clears throat> are very flexible and bendable in different directions. Now I'm gonna put these on. And I'm going to tell you right now, these things are so soft, so comfortable that I am just blown away. These are some of the thickest earmuffs and the softest earmuffs I've ever used. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this jack. I'm going to switch microphones. I'm going to be right back, and we're going to hear what this microphone can do. All right. Now that I have the Monitor 60s plugged in, guys, I'm going to say a couple things. If you're using this on this PC, you will need the adapter, the 2 to 1 on a main PC or desktop style. And that is because with the desktop style, it's not an all-in-one plug. 
Now, if you're using this on the phone, just a single plug will do. Now, everything you're hearing is actually from this headset. If I bring this microphone closer, it should peak a little more. If I hit this little button, it should the microphone, and you guys shouldn't hear anything right now. Uh, if you guys do, hey, my mic mute don't work. I, you know, I, what can I say? So, you know, it's just a simple cord. I have no problems with this headset. I did do a sound playback test, and it sounds very great. Now, listening to music is where it is mind blowing. This set actually sounds very, very phenomenal. Heavy bass, crystal clear highs. Uh, if you're listening to the dubstep, it sounds good. If you're listening to the country, it sounds great. If you're listening to classical, it sounds great. Guys, this is a good set from One Audio. Now, again, guys, these are the monitor 60s, high res, high audio res style headsets for DJing or just plain usage. If you guys need, hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you guys. And have a great one. Thank you, James, for talking to us about those One Audio Monitor 60 Studio headphones, which are available today for 80 bucks, pretty decent price, I'd say, 11% off of their $90 average retail value. Now, let's take a look at the last product that we've got in our carousel today, but we're still going to chill here for like a half an hour uh, after we talk about this. So let's get it underway, and by it, I mean this River 2 Max video uh, right here, right now version of that so the river max 2 this thing is an absolute beast and has a ton of crazy features that i think you guys are going to really enjoy so with a total of 512 watt hours on that life po4 battery and a one hour fast charge and up to 1000 watts of output this thing is going to keep you guys covered through an entire camping trip through a weekend getaway through storms through blackouts really Anything that you can think of where you're going to need power and otherwise wouldn't have access to standard outlet power, this is going to be the one for you. So what we're going to do is dive in and take a look at all of the options that you have included with the River 2. So if I go ahead and lift this up on the front right here, you guys are going to notice that you have three USB-A ports, which is just so cool. So you can charge all of your devices directly from this. Then you're going to have a USB-C output that is going to output at up to 100 watts so all of your devices are covered if we flip over here to the side if i pull this little lever down just like all of other ecoflow products you're going to have that standard 12 volt outlet so you guys can actually charge devices that would normally run from your car's power directly from this and then down at the bottom you're going to have two individually grounded ac outlets and then you're going to have these two standard two prong outlets all of this is controllable through these buttons that you guys can see located around the outside of it. So say you have some stuff plugged in right here and you have some stuff plugged in right here. What you can actually do is individually control the power to each of those through this little button, or you can even do it through the app. Now, if I switch it over to this side, you're going to have a fan, which is actually going to outtake some of the heat because this thing is going to run pretty warm. And then on the back side, you are going to have this extreme technology charging plug-in right here so when you plug this into your wall you can actually fast charge this in about one hour from zero to 80 percent which is just incredible to me now the back side right here this is going to be a way for you to actually charge from your car while you're driving down the road or from your rv and then you can also charge with ecoflow solar panels that will plug into that same port overall like i said the river 2 max i think is just a beast if we go ahead and turn this bad boy on you guys are going to notice that it has a little display here that kind of shows you everything you can expect. It will show your total input wattages if you're charging it. It will show you how many outputs you are outputting at if you have stuff plugged in. And then your total battery life is right here and your expected remaining hours of charging based on how many watts you're outputting will be reflected right here. This is just an incredible machine. Definitely check this out. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys later. Yo, that is, in fact, Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thank you very much, Nate, for telling us about the River 2 Max. Now, I've got the River 2, which is a little bit smaller of a unit, but the River 2 Max just basically doubles the, the functionality of the river. I love it. I want all of these EcoFlow batteries in my house so bad. Uh, now the River Two, which we're talking, the River Two Max, excuse me, which we're talking about right now, is available today for four hundred and sixty-nine dollars. Okay, so that's it. It's six thirty. We did our entire carousel. You know, we're gonna hang out until seven o'clock. I got like another 
maybe half an hour that I'm live. What's up, Boot? I'm done all my carousel stuff, but I still have to be live until 7. So with that, uh, I mean, yesterday we took a look at the Vipic V22S and I spent some significant time on it. And I really, 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 really like the product. So I think we might take another look at it today. Um, I think we might take another look at it today. But before we do that, let's see. Um, hmm. <laughs> just looking at some things, looking for some information. All right, let's navigate to the Amazon front page. And uh, I want to show you these little lights that we were looking at yesterday. They seem really, really cute. And uh, I'm going to add them to my product uh, carousel. So give me just a quick minute to get that set up. And uh, let's do that now. So let's add a let's add a product to our carousel, and we want to add uh, okay V zero eight, and then K Z H one four B X four B X search add back return. And then let's go all the way to the end of our product carousel here. Now let's select these and let's grab our product page and talk about these in real time. Okay, so we go here and then we minimize this. Let me show this. All right, cool. So this is the product page for the Gigalumi Solar Outdoor Flower Lights. Now what we see here is going to be a four pack of waterproof solar garden lights that change colors and they are in lily they're in the shapes of lilies which i think is really cute uh i love how they uh come with the purple and the red and the white petals on the lilies but the lilies also uh change uh rgb colors i believe so when we click on these lilies uh let's click on videos uh, here we go. we're gonna make this Evans says, Evans says, love Gigalumi. Yeah, you know, I just learned about these Gigalumi lights. We were looking at the pages yesterday, and uh, it was our most popular item yesterday that we talked about. So I thought it would be smart to talk about them again um, because they were really popular. You know, Cece was actually talking about these yesterday and was such a – it was such a rave. It was such a rave hit in the, in the chat. Uh, I ended up getting some. I ended up getting some as well. So I'm super stoked to get ours uh, when they arrive. They're supposed to be here shortly after uh, 420. Now, these Gigalumi Solar Power Lilies, okay, they are IP65 water resistant and take six to eight hours to charge as I look at these pictures and see that it, it has eight to 10 hours of illumination. So that's not too bad, right? Charge all day, glow all night. Very, very cute. Um, and you can get them in – actually, you can't get them in the double pack. I thought they had them in an eight pack. But look, you can surprise your loved ones, okay? You can surprise your loved ones. Look at how happy they are. She's like, hold on, hold on. She's like, guess what I got you? Guess what I got you, mom? And she's like, I can't even guess. I'm so excited. You're covering my eyes. I have no idea. And they're just like holding it together. She's like, all right. I'm going to put these in your hands. You ready? You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so <laughs> very fun. Now, the Gigalumi lights are available today for $25, but they're on like a super deal, actually, because not only are they $25 regular price today, but you can also apply a 20% coupon, uh, which is going to save you, I think, about 10 bucks. And then there is an additional $20 coupon that you can redeem. Uh, which I think saves you like another 10 bucks. 
So you can uh, you can get these for a really, really low price today, uh, up to like, I guess, essentially 40 percent off. I'm really excited to get mine. We got a pack of four. So I hope it comes with the two, two purples, one white and one red. Uh, here's a little image that we can take a quick look at showing the solar stuff. Pretty standard on off button, solar panel, light the lights, 16 inch stem, 30 inches to the top. So very, very cool. Aluminum poles, easy to stake into the earth, you know? 534 ratings, giving them a four and a half star review. Let's look at all of these customer images right quick. Not too many customer images, but uh, look at these. These are nice, right? They look like bigger than expected, but I'm not sure how big this house that we're looking at is. But these are really, really nice. They come out to $15. Yeah, so you can save 10 bucks. All right, 20% is $5, and then another 20% is $5. Yeah, so uh, absolutely. You can get these for $15 today. That's pretty cool, right? I really like the way that they're looking uh, from all angles. Oh, how cool is that, that they put one of them in a pot with a real plant? That's pretty sweet, right? And then also you can put them in your window if you want. So very versatile solar LED uh, lilies, right? Lilies, we're saying. Yes, these ones are lilies. Uh, really, really cool. Um, I'm super stoked to get mine. I know I said that a moment ago, but I was showing these to Mima. She's pretty interested in them as well. Uh, and you know what these are? These are great because they will always be bright. They'll never fade. They'll never die. Well, maybe they'll fade, you know what I mean, over time. Who knows? But they'll never die. You know what I'm saying? They're, and they'll always be brightly cut. Well, if they don't fade, they'll always be brightly colored. And I'm, like, like not a big gardener, so I always, like, would love to have brightly colored flowers that are year-round. But I never Googled it. I never bothered to learn about it or get any further education in the matter. You know what I'm saying? And so – like last spring or the spring before last, we went to this place and we bought a plant, had these nice pink flowers on. I'm like, oh, this is this is nice, you know, and then we brought it home and then all the flowers fell off and it was just a green bush for the rest of the spring and summer and fall season. Yeah, I don't like that. That place tricked me by putting the flowers out while they were while they were the best. I guess, yeah. Yo, two clicks on the Gigalumi Solar Outdoor Lights. Again, these are really, really affordable today. Uh, at a regular cost of $25, you can save $5 with that 20% applicable coupon. And they also have an additional 20% off with the promo code. So save another 5 bucks. Add these to your cart today, essentially for $15. Um, I've got mine coming. We can take a quick, quick glance through the Gigalumi store. Now that we got two clicks uh, through the uh, thing, look, they got the mason jars. Oh, they were live. When were they live last? Let's Only 20 hours ago? They were live 20 hours ago. Make sure you're following Gigalumi here on Amazon and check out their live streams. Uh, what else do they have here? Let's see. Um, new products. Let's check out their new products. I think that's where we saw the lilies. Yeah, that's where we saw the lilies. Look, they had like an eight pack, but now you can't get the eight pack anymore. I don't know why. You have to get two four packs. Uh, I love that they got like the outdoor solo lights that have the RGB on them as well. These are 40 bucks today. Let's click through and take a quicker look at these. Uh, 40 bucks with a $20 coupon. Not too bad. So what's that like? Save like five bucks maybe? Uh, okay, so they got a two pack for 10 bucks and they got the six pack for 40. I just bought these for $16. Yo, that's so amazing that you bought them, Jason. I hope that you enjoy them. Let's go back to the page and talk about them a little more in depth. Uh, let's let's take a look at their about this item section and see what Gigalumi wants you to know. All right, I'm gonna actually zoom this in and make it a little bit bigger text. All right, about this item, it says. Here we go. So that's pretty big. 
All right, about this item, it says upgraded version. Outdoor solar flower lights own upgraded solar panels that increase the speed of energy exchange and the energy saving built in battery maximizes the lighting time of the solar flowers. The fancy garden solar lamps use more gentle fabrics, which make the lilies quality and appearance more vivid. Very sweet. So gentle fabrics making more vivid lights. Uh, and like it said in the picture earlier, eight hours to charge, 10 hours to charge, 10 hours of playback. Not too bad. Electricity free outside solar lighting gifts for mom does not require any energy cost. Uh, did you get these Jason as a gift for your mom? Because I bet she would love to know that these do not require any energy cost during the daytime. They charge and at night they power waterproof. Yes. They're IP six, five waterproof. Uh, simple installation. Yes, you stick them in the ground. Gigalumi was founded for providing high quality and exquisite design solar light fixtures equipped with advanced technology and excellent products. We are specialized in incorporating nature with people, making full use of energy from nature to illustrate your life with Gigalumi. Wow. Very, very nice. I like these Gigalumi lights. I'm so glad to know that you bought them today for $16, Jason. I'm going to get mine soon enough. They are, uh, they're supposed to be, I heard, delivered by like uh, April 21st, I think. And um, yeah, my, my Gigalumi lights should be here by April 21st. I'm excited to get them. It's right in time to go put them in the front yard uh, with all the plants that don't have any flowers on them. <laughs> Got them from my front yard. Yeah, that's what I was saying uh, earlier about non-electrical lights and actual like real flowers. You know what I'm saying? I wish that I knew what were like things that bloom in the springtime and just stay bright all season. I know that there's like, um, what are those flowers called that keep the bugs away? We had the yellow ones boot in the pot. Hydragnias hy 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 or something. I don't know. I don't think she can hear me. She thinks I'm doing the show. Oh, we got three clicks through on the Gigalumi Outdoor Solar Lights. Yo, let's take a look at the product page and just keep talking to him. It seems to be the most interesting product on the show today. So let's click through and take a look at a few more of these pictures again. It's not really much to be had with the pictures. Let's check uh, those reviews and not just look at pictures, but see uh, five star. 75% five star reviews. Uh, muy bueno. Wife loves them. I love these flower lights. These lights are whimsical and just pretty. My hummingbirds check them out all the time before going to the feeder. They are pretty day and night. They are bright at night and charge and change color beautifully. So they do change the color. Very, very nice. Uh, good product. They stand out. Still going strong. Good product. Still, still looks fake. Uh, got for my mother and she liked them, but says, if you get close, they just look fake. Well, that that's because they're fake. That's because they're fake flowers, Janet. Okay. They're fake. Uh, top reviews from other countries. Well, I don't speak any other languages, so let's just see all reviews right quick. Love them. Love them. Love them. 75% five-star review. Okay. They are fun and add color to a dreary winter, although we will leave them up all year. Because of the rain, my winter flowers did not put on their normal show. I bought a couple of these, and our neighbors loved them. Some thought they were real. So I kept buying, and we have about three dozen in the yard. Now I'm surprising people and sending these flowers as gifts again, getting the raves. Make sure you buy the ones that show they have the larger rectangular solar cells. Okay. What is like... Uh, these are the larger rectangular ones. And also it says it's the upgraded version. So maybe that's the right move. Very, very sweet. I'm glad we could spend a little bit of time on the Gigalumi lights again. Once again, it seems to be the most popular product uh, that got clicked through in our carousel today. So I think we might talk about these a little bit more in the future because if it's one thing that I'm down with, it's really engaging the audience and wanting to ensure that they got things that they like you know and people are really responding to these gigalumi lights this week so i'm definitely gonna bring them up again 
Now, what I would like to do with the last 10 or 15 minutes of the show is, yo, the SS Book Reader, thank you so much for following me here on Clown Live. I am your host, Dragon Blaker. If you can hear the sound of my voice right now, please feel free to say hello in the chat. We are on the road to 3,000 followers, okay? And we're getting so close. We were we were up there for a bit, and then we kind of fell back down. So we're climbing the ranks again. You must be maybe follower 2,863 today. Let's do a quick follower check. We went from 2861 to 2863. So we got two new followers today. That is utterly amazing, and I'm so grateful to have that experience with you. So thank you, the SS Book Reader, for joining our show today. But yeah, what are you buying? What are you buying, Jason? What's up, Evans? Are you out there listening to the sound of my voice? Please let me know what else you're buying on Amazon. Let's take a look at it together. Let's go down a rabbit hole of products. Now, I'm just going to rest my voice for a quick second, drink some water here, and then uh, we're going to get ready to wrap up today's show. <clears throat> All right. Now, let me take a look at our project at our carousel today. We looked at the projector. We looked at the 2KB ear headphones. Yes, we did. We looked at the Logitech uh, Lytra Glow. We did that as well. Also, we took a look at the pluggable USB 3.0 to dual HDMI adapter. We looked at the Bluetooth adapter and the docking station. Docking station is something that I use the most often. Uh, it's a really, really great product. What's that, Boot? Yeah, of course. Here, I'm going to just rest it right here. Is that okay? Okay. Now, we also talked about the Ofuzi H8 Apex and the Wise Smart Scale. We also talked about Yaki's IPL Laser Hair Removal Tool. Ooh, we talked about the Camping Light. One of my favorite products in today's carousel. Absolutely. I love the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. So lightweight, so loud and powerful without it's very loud i'd say it's very loud also without being disturbingly loud right uh we talked about the prex text toys we talked about the elgato i love the elgato stream deck so much that's another really really great product that we don't talk about enough on the show uh we talked about the emi camera we talked about the life pro rumblex 4d board we talked about the prolux vacuum we talked about the river to max today we talked about the delta two excuse me we talked about the yosuda rower we talked about the innocent monitor these are all really great products we talked about the headphones talked about the battery and we talked about the gigalumi solar outdoor lights okay um i love the lights and you can get them today for 40 percent off i think that's pretty much it now i do kind of want to honor staying on the show for the full two hours so we got about 10 minutes left here Let's take a quick look then like we did yesterday at Goldbox and see what kind of deals might be popping up there for us. Oh, Sarah Olson on the Goldbox deals page. Very nice. Okay, let's scroll down here and see. Uh, oh, look, chainsaws, dude. I need a chainsaw, like, not so bad, but there's uh, trees that fell that never got. We There's chain, there's trees that snap that never fell. Look at all these Greenworks products today that are available. Where's the chainsaw? Oh, here it is. $111 for a chainsaw today. Uh, an electric chainsaw. Okay. Uh, I probably would like a gas one maybe, but I know that there's probably advancements and stuff and chainsaw technology. So I don't know. What else do we got here? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we were talking a little bit about the uh, monocle yesterday, drink mixers, spice scoopers. I like the magnetic hooks for the keys. This is really cool. I like that they hang a spatula, a brush, a knife, and a set of keys next to each other. Oh, look at this giant shower head. That's very cool. I love that the I love these little webcam sliders so that you can like slide it over your webcam and keep it private if you want. That's pretty cute. 
what is this just markers very sweet it's really like the gold box is always deals there's always always deals popping off out here but uh oh yeah the vipic stuff v2s what about v22s is v22s in here no that's okay oh boot here come take a quick look at this okay yeah it's okay just look at it from here can you see this yes so this is what i was explaining last night how the v22s the one that we have it's the two racks that are basically mirrored each other and at this area where we hang the the closet like yeah. right there's two short bars right this bar is not centered you see and so when we set up the long way when we set it up the long way the two short tables they separate the two v2s units right but with this they just turn one of them around 90 degree 180 degrees mm -hmm. and then they put these two close bars together so that you can make it an l shape what do you think about that that's crazy right right uh yeah okay so the uh v the l40 is not really what i'm into i really like the v22s we're going to take a look at it right now uh where do we see it v6 v2e 5l50 why don't they show me the v22s let's just go to v2s do they recommend v22s still no still no still they don't recommend v22s to us no problem we'll just go right to the vipic store and take another quick look because i'm obsessed with this i talked to my friends about it and they were saying that uh i ordered it and sent it to their house because i couldn't get it sent to canada and uh now it's in america waiting for me they said they were going to bring it up here and i'm super super stoked oh they have the l22s let's take a look at l22s but this is what i got here the Vipic V22S. Now, with just a few minutes left in today's show, let's still add this to our carousel. And uh, we want to look at it. It's B09. Okay. Uh, B09 TF9. And then TZTQ. Search. Yes. Add. Back return and then navigate all the way to the end again and okay so now i've highlighted this we're going to spend the rest of the show talking about this because there's just a few minutes left but this is the vipic v22s garment rack look at this thing you get a nice little shelf on the top for bags you get a huge rack on the top for whatever you want on the top you get a nice long area for dresses or long clothing. And then you get two racks for like t-shirts or whatever. And then this is connected with, uh, this is connected, the same thing mirrored on the other side and just connected with two little short tables, two little shorts, um, two little short, uh, I guess, like racks or tabletops or whatever you would refer, refer to them as. I love this thing so much. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Now, they offer it in black and in white. After an extensive conversation with Mima, we decided that black would probably be the more preferred option. And uh, I think we made probably the right choice. Now, we'll never know because uh, any other Vipic product I might buy in the future is going to have to be black to match this one. Um, okay, so... The Vipic V22S holds about a thousand pounds and is just under nine feet in length and just over six feet high. Joanna W says, Hey, totally awesome, totally cool. Totally awesome, totally cool it, Dragon Blaker. They tell me that I should chill out, that I should totally cool it. Um, thank you for joining the show today, Joanna. We're pretty close to done. We just got about five minutes left of today's show. And I'm just wrapping it up talking about this closet because I'm super obsessed with it. And I, it hasn't been on my mind for a while because my, uh, my I bought it on March 21st. OK, I bought it March 21st and it got delivered like in March. And then I've been waiting a month. So it wasn't on my mind every day. And uh, and uh, now it is because I talked to my friend and they've indicated that they're going to come and visit. Uh, the both of them at the end of the month. So let me check real quick the dates. Today's the 12th. Ugh. 
I've got to wait until maybe Saturday the 29th, which is like two and a half weeks away. But man, it's going to be so worth it once we get to start hanging our clothes on it. Yeah, we talked about this, the different ways you can set it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, let's take a look at it real close right now, okay? So this is what I see. Hold on. Let me go here. This is what I want to show. Okay, so as we take a look at the picture, we see on the far left side how where these dresses or whatever are hung. They're, the two bars are very close together, and they're not centered. They're, it's not centered, right? Uh, so what I think happens is they just reverse the other shelf and then make the short shelves, connect them together. Look, this is the Vipic L225. It's the same thing, but it's L-shaped. You see? And see how the, the, the towels in the background there are like offset? And, and that little gray box on the bottom, it sits a little bit higher than the other gray boxes. You can make, you can make the V, you can make the L22S out of a V22S if you want. I feel very confident with that statement. And they are identical in price. You know, they're the same thing. And then they talk about it being like uh, 76 inches long, but that's just got to be like, because it's not all the way stretched out like the V22S is, which is advertised to be 104 and a half inches long, 104 and a half inches long. So yeah, I know that I've been talking about it a lot this week, but I really like it. I really am excited to receive it. And uh, that's kind of where I'm at with all of that. So I think, um, oh no, it's cool. Oh no, it's cool. Yeah, I know it's cool. I mean, whatever. What are you buying? What are you buying? We still got like three or four minutes of today's show. What are you interested in, Joanna? You know, did we take a look yesterday? Stargazer was saying that she was interested in um, solar powered garden lights. And that's how we got on the topic of Gigalumi Lily lights. And then Cece ended up saying that she bought a pair. So that was like super cool. But what are you interested in? What are you looking at right now? What is for sale? What is, what do you want to add to your, excuse me, what do you want to add to your cart? Are those cute tulips? Oh my God. Everybody loves these things. All right. Let's click through. Let's go back to the page real quick and we'll talk about them one more time uh, before we end today's show. So let me grab the page here. Oh, so many pages. Um, Gigalumi, new products. Yes, this is what we want. And then we want to click on these lily lights. Uh, outdoor Govi lights. Dude, I want some outdoor Govi lights as well. I have some outdoor string lights, and I was talking with Mima about them today. You know what? Here, we'll take a quick look at the, at the Gigalumi lights again, Joanna, because I said that we would, and they're highlighted in the carousel. So here they are. But to end today's show, oh, uh, okay, real quick. So with the Giga Lumi lights, they look great. You get four in the kit, and they're regularly priced $25. But you can get 20% off today with a clickable coupon and an additional redeemable 20%. So you can save $10 on these. Uh, 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 excuse me. Jason T. Shields just said that uh, he purchased them and that he got them in his cart for $16 today. So a very, very sweet little deal on it. I'm thinking of a new keyboard. I like Logitech, has a flow system. My mouse can go between systems. I don't, I never heard of the flow system. I'm gonna have to look into it myself. Yo, let's search Govi. And then let's go to the Govi lights and let's search permanent. Am I spelling that right? Outdoor lights. Yeah, here we are. The Govi out permanent outdoor lights. The Govi permanent outdoor lights. These bad boys are pretty crazy. Look at them. Look at them on the right side of the screen. They're these little white square little um, lights. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know how to say it. But uh, these look insane. Let's see what kind of video they got with the Gobi lights here. I can't remember 
what it's like to hold one you love by your side. Or maybe I just can't seem to sing to say my Alexa, life. set music mode to luminous. Okay. When I'm with you, there's no reason for why I'm intoxicated by your side. When I'm with you, nothing in the world is gonna be. Look at this these lights, bro. Look at how I've they kind of like concave out. Govi. Making life smarter. Yeah, it's smart if you get these lights, I think. Is this another Gobi video? Yeah. Dude, these lights are sick. They're so crazy good. I want them so much. The problem with my the problem with these lights is that I live in a trailer park home and my home, it doesn't have a peaked roof. So there's nowhere for me to mount these to make them shine straight down on the side of the house. They would just like shine straight out like onto my neighbor's joint or whatever. And uh, that's not what I'm trying to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I need to get like a $20,000 roof installed so that I can put up these $300 lights. <clears throat> yeah, that could cause an issue. Yeah, absolutely. But the Govi Outdoor Permanent Lights on other social media websites, uh, like popular video uploading websites, there is, um, there's some great examples of these lights in action. And what I love about these is you could just set them up to like, I mean, it's probably not officially supported, but there is absolutely a way where you could set these up to like be activated by motion when you come home. So like your whole house lights up. Uh, you could set these up to like uh, go off with an alarm system. Again, these aren't official supported things. You would probably have to like download another little interface to make it work well. But you can individually address each of these lights. So imagine if you just had like bright white lights and red lights flashing in, in like uh, the case of like um, a break in or something. Right. And then with that, you could just have like your lights flashing white and red strobes reds on the walls and whites on all the windows and the doors for example i just think that that would be really really fresh i just can't do 300 when i don't have kids here anymore you know what is the thing about it sure 300 dollars sounds expensive and i might agree but let's see this is a hundred feet this is this is a hundred feet now again i live in a small building i live in a trailer park home my trailer park home is 13 feet by 70 feet so what is that? 26 and 140 is uh, 166 feet, 166 feet. Plus I have a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a carport on the side of my house as well. So maybe I could get away with two boxes. Now, $600 to do the entire house sounds brutal. But uh, the thing that what sells me this is that they're permanent outdoor lighting. So you literally can just use them for whatever you want, whether you're setting them up for Easter or Valentine's Day or Arbor Day or Christmas or Halloween, or you just want them on every day. They don't have to be RGB colors. You can have them. You can have the entire exterior of your house illuminated with LEDs. Um, and I think that's pretty sweet. They can be any color you want, whether they're yellow or white or RGB. For example, you can have precise aesthetic on your house with these. That's where I think you can do the, th that's where I feel the justification for the price is there. And if I recall correctly, remember these sold out? Do you remember these? They like sold out a couple months ago and then they weren't restocked for a while. I think they were a little bit cheaper when they were in when they were in stock previously before they sold out from being so popular uh i want to leave them i want to leave them up all year and i'd probably use them every day yeah well then that makes it like i think that kind of like makes it worth it right i think that is what kind of makes it worth it uh when you know that you can use them every day that's what i would like to do all right, we have fulfilled our two-hour show today. I think we're going to end it right there. Thank you, everybody, for coming and watching today's show. Thank you, Joanna, for coming in clutch at the end. 
Uh, also, the SS Book Reader, thank you for following us here on Amazon. Jason Shields, thank you. I hope that you enjoy your dinner today uh, if you haven't already eaten. And I'm glad that you bought those uh, Gigalumi lights. Let me know how that works out for you. And then also I want to thank you, Evans, and Thor at your door for joining today, as well as Jennifer Lude and USS Rover. Of course, Seabass with the great jokes. I love that funny joke today. And uh, I think, uh, oh, Monica Kinnebrew, thank you for following. Taylor, thank you for popping out today and, and hanging out with us for a little bit. Uh, Maximilian Mulligan, thank you for joining our show today. Sheila B., of course, you would come and say hello. We I always appreciate you all coming out here and hanging out with me. All right. Now that, oh, Rome, what's up? We are just ending today's show. We actually don't need the camera to follow us. Thank you. Uh, and we are just ending today's show right now. It's over. We did our two hour show. We're going to come back tomorrow on Thursday. I've got a show planned for you. Uh, I've got two different shows planned. So I'm going to pick one of them and execute it. We're either going to do a show about deals or we're going to set up a show and talk some products and maybe film some shoppables in real time. So something's going to happen there. And uh, eh? okay, that's it from me here. This has been Clown Live. I have been your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. This has been an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented by Shopping Dragons. I love you all very much. And I will see you in about 22 hours from now at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow right here on Shopping Dragons. All right. Thanks, everybody. Much clown love. I'll see you tomorrow. Whoop, whoop.